When I was 15, my teacher said, Lisa, what do you want to be when you grow up? I said, alive. I did not know as a little kid what other people thought it meant to understand something. This is my fourth year of medical school. I'm just doing the bare minimum, graduate. That's my goal, get the diploma, make my parents happy. My parents and my teachers and all of the adults told me to stop dreaming, get my head out of the clouds. She said, you are the weakest writer I have ever met in my entire life. What I recommend you do is get a desk job and never speak in public, Miss Nichols. Everybody I know is saying, we have an education crisis in this country. Well, if you misdiagnose your problem, you're unlikely to solve it. The great model was America was the first to do a whole lot of things to raise the bar based on advanced technology. They choose to go to the moon. They've got the flag up now. Today, go to a newsstand. Every cover, it's either about sports, it's about entertainment, beautiful women. It's not at all an education crisis. It's a culture crisis. This was a whole world of questions. I've been driven to be independent my whole life. I didn't know if anyone had attempted to fly a plane without arms. They all said, isn't this too dangerous? Someone's gonna die. Why isn't NASA doing this? And can we really pull it off? They looked at me, they smiled. They said, how are you going to go up there? I said, this is my spaceship. I could tell that they were not taking this seriously. We've been told that dreaming is dangerous. Get a job, get a safe job, get benefits. And the biggest discomfort we have is not being true to who we know we are. But something has shifted in our world, and it's an awakening that people are realizing they don't have to take that bargain if they don't want to. The challenge is your mindset, what you believe you're capable of, and what you believe is possible. I normally am known as Dr. Yes. When you came to see me, everything said I should say yes. I don't know why no came out of my mouth, but strangely, if I had said yes, we may not all be sitting here today with our spaceship in the hangar next door. People ask, when do you give up on your dream? If it is your true passion, your massively transformative purpose, the answer is never. Three, two, one, on fire.